Let's review the error of approximation formula for interpolating. Uh, the formula that you see here in this theorem states that the polynomial interpolating the function f of x at the points uh, x0, x1, and so on up to xn, that is n plus 1 points, is given by, at, at any given value of uh, x, is given by that product times the n plus first derivative of the function at some point c in the interval that contains all the points. Okay, The points x0 to xn don't have to be ordered. That's why they say the interval that contains them all, divided by n plus 1 factorial. Okay, so if the function does not have n plus 1 derivatives, there is no estimation of the error. Now what we're going to consider in this short movie clip is how to find the error for a given function. Obviously there are two things that must be done. This first term here must be estimated and the other is that that derivative must be estimated and in fact what is almost always done is that we look for the maximum of this n plus first derivative at uh, in the interval that contains all the nodes. So let's get to that and look at a couple of examples. Here's our first example. Uh, we're going to look at the function f of x that's equals e to the x and it's to be interpolated at these five points. So that's five equally spaced points in the interval 0 to 1. What's the error of approximation at one third? Okay, so we apply the error formula directly and in this case n is 4. Okay, because we go from x0 to x4 and that'll be five points. So uh, in this particular situation, the fifth derivative, which is the derivative we want, that's n plus 1, is 5, is e to the x. And thus there is some function of some point c such that uh, the exact difference between e to the 1 third and p4 of 1 third is this uh, long product here times e to the c over 5 factorial and that comes to what you see here this formula which can be computed easily enough but what we want to do is estimate the error and that means what we need to do is observe something about this function e to the c and what we observe is that function is increasing, so the maximum value it can be occurs when c is equal to 1. So in fact, that is the value we'll put in here to get a numerical answer. And that answer will be an upper bound on the air. So what will it be? It'll be e times 320 divided by 5 factorial times 12 raised to the fifth power. And we can compute that number easy enough if you want. The value is uh, 0 0.0000298. So, so that's uh, exactly uh, what we did here. Oh, I shouldn't have that little arrow there. I should have a sort of a straight line here. Okay, now what we're going to do is go backwards a little bit. Okay, go backwards a little bit. If we can go back and get back to that error formula here. And here it is. And what we're going to do is assume that all of our points are equally spaced. Okay, that's going to give us information about these nodes that we can then apply to attempt to maximize this term. That's what we were going to do, is try and maximize this term. 
Uh, the other term, the m derivative, is function dependent. The n plus 1 factorial, that you can compute, anybody can compute. But in the case we have equally spaced points, we're, we're going to be able to get a, a run at what the maximum of this is, and that will be about as good as we can do. So let's go and assume that those points are equally spaced as we've done here. So uh, we're looking at n, we, that gives us n plus 1 nodes, and the subdivision length is uh, b minus uh, a over n, that's h. So all of the points are a, a plus h, a plus uh, 2h, a plus 3h, a plus ih, and all the way up to a plus nh, which was the right endpoint b. Now, what it is, what is known is that, uh, and this is one of the problems in the notes. These are, by the way, the notes that uh, I've posted to the net. What you can compute is this formula, that this product must be less than one-fourth of that subdivision length to the n plus one power multiplied by n factorial. Now, if we put that together with the error formula, we get a very glossy formula for estimating, uh, remember now, estimating the error of approximation. Okay? So what we get is the difference, and I have absolute values there, is equal to or less than, now I'm plugging in all this information, and the n factorial here cancel the n plus 1 factorial that we had before and just leaves us with an n plus 1. And then it's certainly got to be the maximum of the n plus first derivative uh, of the function. And that is a very uh, nice error formula. It's easy to use if you can find the n plus first derivative. Now, naturally, that's going to be possible only for special functions for which you can find a general formula for the derivative. Some functions would be just too difficult to work with in general. Okay? So let's revisit the example 3.1, where we're looking for the error of uh, approximation at any point. Now, at any, not just uh, x equals one third like before, at any point, at the five equally spaced, uh, well, for the interpolating polynomial at five equally spaced, five equally spaced points in a zero one. So those are the points zero, one fourth, one half, three fourths, and one. Okay. So as before, h is 1 quarter, the fifth derivative is e to the x, and the maximum, well, we've done that before, is e, the maximum of the fifth derivative over the interval in question. Okay, so now we plug in the rest of it from the previous formula just above, and we get this estimate. So this says that the approximation is quite quite good. This is the absolute upper bound that this difference can be. In general, at particular points, the estimate may be very, very much smaller. But this is as good as it can be at every single point. Okay, no, this is as bad as it can be at every single point. Okay, so I think you see the idea on how to use the formula. And it's just a matter of using the form. In this box here, at your, uh, um, in the center of the screen, uh, you will see, uh, you will see the um, formula for uh, achieving uh, the desired error. Since this term here is an upper bound for the error, and if we want the error to be less than epsilon, we merely solve this equation here for n. It looks like it's not too easy, and maybe sometimes it's not too easy, but it is a way to, 
to determine the number of points required to uh, achieve a certain error. Okay, and just below you can see that we're looking at the function 1 over x on the interval 2 to 4 and we're saying how many equally spaced points are required so the interpolating uh, polynomial has an error of approximation less than 10 to the minus fifth on that interval. So we're simply going to use this formula here. We're going to put in 10 to the minus fifth there and compute this general term and solve for um, solve for the uh, uh, estimate on n. Now note h can be written in terms of n, as you will see. So here we go. We look at, uh, we have to get a general uh, formula for the derivative of 1 over x, okay? And we compute, 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 and finally we get an idea that, uh, that this is the uh, the, the formula here. It's just a matter of uh, computing enough terms until you see the pattern and then you derive the formula and now you maximize that. Since this function is decreasing and we can get rid of this term here altogether because we're looking at the maximum of the modulus and that's just plus or minus one. Since the function is decreasing the maximum occurs at two so we put in 2 here, 2 to the n plus 2, and there you see 2 to the n plus 2. Here is the n plus 1 factorial. Here, is, here are the other two terms, the h to the n plus 1 over 4n plus 1, and that simplifies to this formula here. Not so simple, maybe. Uh, not so simple, but it, uh, but it is a formula. And this particular transcendental type equation can't be solved directly for n. In fact, what you must do is plug in the values of n until finally you find an n for which the left side is smaller than 10 to the minus fifth. And that's what we'll do next. Okay, so you can see I've made a table and I actually started at 8 and computed these values and finally by the time at, we're at n equals 10 uh, we have found a bound uh, an estimate for the error which is less than 10 to the minus fifth and so we say the tolerance is met if 11 equally spaced points are used. Remember n refers to the number of subdivisions and this is done for another couple of examples in the text that is a, a, uh, available to you. So that is the way to find the number of equally spaced points to obtain a certain accuracy and um, also a way to find an estimate for the error for equally spaced points. When the points are not equally spaced, then getting close estimates can be extremely difficult and must often be done simply in specific cases.